Hello, I'm Lai Hong Lai, serving as a deputy manager at Visera Technologies. At Visera Technologies, our primary focus is near infrared and short wave infrared wave label optical image sensors. We achieve this by integrating innovative materials such as organic and quantum dot photodiode onto CMOS circuits. I'm glad to share our latest work with you, which is the development of a biased switchable narrowband and broadband near infrared organic photo detector using a scalable filtration technique. This research has been published in ISC Applied Interfaces. Near infrared and short infrared imaging technologies have garnered attention for various applications such as 3D sensing, face recognition, and machine vision. However, the limitation of silicon CMOS image sensor restricts their effectiveness beyond 1,000 nanometer wavelengths. In contrast, the solution processed organic semiconductor have versatile photon to electron response spanning from the UV to the surreal wavelengths, making them attractive for optoelectronics. In the past, when making sensors for near infrared and short wave infrared light, we need to use a special filter to reduce amount of light. But we have come up something new. We made a sensor that can switch between narrow and wide vision mode without need a special filter. Our sensor uses a unique trick where we change how it works by applying different amount of electrical power. When we use just a bit power, it's like wearing a narrow vision glasses. It can see a very specific type of light really well. But if we give it more power, it's like switching to a wide vision glasses. It can see a broader range of light. The best part is that we made this sensor using a method that is pretty easy to do, kind of like spreading paint on a wall. It's also something that we can make it big quantities. So in the future, we might be able to make a lot of these sensors for all sorts of cool stuff. The most typical aspect of this work involves gaining a deeper grasp of how the photo detector works. It's a constant challenge to connect what we simulate on a computer and what actually happens in the real life. Additionally, we are always on the outlook for new ways to use the, this kind of organic photo detector, which presents an ongoing challenge. In the future, we want to make organic photo detector that it can switch more easily and use much less power. We are also working on putting the organic photo detector on the CMOS chips to make them in a large quantities. Our goal is to stay at the cutting edge of innovation and help make better photo detector technology that's good for the environment. Hi there, I'm Wei Xiangli, an engineer at this Aerotech. Let's talk about what we've been working on. We have a model of what we made that we want to show you. We use a silver cast to write the word this error on silicon wafer. We shown a special kind of light on it and that you can see. And it makes a small light spot. We put our sensor in front of this and look at it. We move the silicon wafer in small steps while looking at it. What we found is that our sensor works really well for checking this see-through material. This could be a good replacement for another kind of sensor and might be cheaper to use.